Hey guys, it's Kelly from Come Go With Me Today. I hope everyone's having a really good day. I have brought you along with me to another Habitat Restore. This one's in Watauga County uh, in North Carolina, Western North Carolina. And we're just gonna go in and see what we can find. This is my first time coming to the store. So um, I'm excited to see uh, all the different items. So we started out, we found this baker's rack for $130. And I gotta tell you guys, some of the prices were a little higher than my local Habitat Restore, but then they had some good deals on other things. So um, you guys will have to let me know how it is at your uh, Habitat store. So they had a lot of electronics at this store, guys. Um, I'm not really familiar with electronics as much as my husband is, so you guys will have to let me know if these are good deals. So they had some speaker sets and they had a lot of flat screen TVs, um, 40 bucks for this one. And they do test all of their uh, electronics and lighting, so they make sure that it works. And here's another one for $70. And then a smaller one for 40. So this might be something good if you're starting out and just, you know, need a small TV. And this one looked fairly new, guys, for 50 bucks. So we're getting into their furniture. So they've got, they had tons of sofas and chairs and pillows. So I thought this one looked really good, this tan sofa for a little over $100. And it looked really soft. <laughs> And then they had um, different chairs. This was a little rocker. And then another sofa, a hundred bucks. And that looked fairly new. And here's just another shot around the store. There's mom back there shopping. <laughs> but we're just gonna go through and kind of look at the different areas. And I thought these were really pretty guys, $35. And they had a couple of those, but I wasn't sure somebody had, I don't know, somebody had put wheels on the bottom, casters on the bottom. And here was a bar stool. And I think they might've had two of those. And then of course their pillows, they had tons of pillows guys. They were between two and $4 a piece. And they had this chair, this check chair. I thought this was really pretty. And as you'll see coming up, they had the same pattern on two different sofas, or uh, two of the same sofas, I should say. And here's another little, this looked kind of like a little love seat for 50 bucks. And um, one of the people who worked here told me that the Habitat Restore actually marks items down after they've been there for so long. And here's some mirrors, $20. And again, if you don't like the color of the frame, you can paint it, make, your, make it your own. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, and this one was 20. I love that frame. Ooh, I thought that was so pretty. And then just here's another one. I think this one was 45. I thought that was a little pricey. But here's another cute little sofa. And let's see, $15 guys for this overstuffed chair. You know, if you don't like the uh, design on the material, you could get a cover for it. $2 pillow. <laughs> and look at this wing back chair guys. So they had marked this down. Now it's $15. I thought that was in pretty good shape. And then here is a sofa chair, 50 bucks guys. And if I'm not mistaken, it actually came with this footstool on the side. Look at this. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good deal. And then they had another rocker, $40, a little padded rocker. Actually, I think that's a glider rocker. And then here is a leather sofa for $150. Again, I kind of like the worn look on these leather sofas. And then it had the nail heads on the arms. That was pretty. 
And another little pillow, four bucks. And then this was kind of a southwestern look, $75 for this um, overstuffed chair. And a little kind of chenille, really soft sofa, $75. And again, guys, they told me they marked these down after they've been there so long. I think actually that was a love seat. Oh, and another mirror. And I really liked that. I thought that was so pretty. And here's another leather sofa for 180. And this one was really like an overstuffed, really soft leather. And then here's that other checked sofa I was talking about for 90 bucks. I thought that was a really good deal. Here's just a little smaller sofa, and it was really soft, guys. And it looked like it was in good shape for $125. Oh, and I love this chair. I thought this would be so pretty in a bedroom. It was just a really soft, cushy chair. $25, guys. So see, they had some good deals on things, and you'll see coming up, um, some of the other items were a little pricey, but we'll go through and look at it. And here's another soft sofa, 90 bucks. So I really think the Habitat Restore is a good place um, to check out if you, you know, maybe are starting out needing furniture, you're on a limited budget. Look at that, it was 100, now it's 55. I think my grandmother had a sofa that looked like that. And then here's a little, I think it's a futon, 50 bucks. A little black futon. That'd be pretty in a dorm room. And then I thought this was a little pricey, but look at it, guys. So it's $250, but it's a double recliner sofa with the drink holders in the middle. And it looked fairly new. Hmm, they had a ton of those, guys. <laughs> oh, a ton of those. And this looked kind of fancy, so $55 if you like these colors, the coral. And it had the wood on the sides, and you could just get some little touch-up markers and touch up the chips in it. And they had like uh, the little beach chairs or studio chairs here. I thought those were cute. And look at this unique little table, guys, for 30 bucks. If you do faux furniture finishing or know someone who does, that would be fun to try. I thought that was very unique. And I loved this chest of drawers, just with the curve on the front of the drawers. Again, if you did faux painting, I just went to the Weathered Home here locally, and that video shows a lot of the uh, faux painting techniques, so that would be pretty to take and try to redo. And then here's an armoire for 200 bucks. And guys, I hope that shows just the beauty of that. The color was just such a really rich, deep color. And here's just another little buffet. $45, guys, 45 bucks. My goodness, take that, refinish it. Oh, you'd have a beautiful piece of furniture. I thought that was really a good deal. And then this is, I guess, an older vanity. I just think these are so pretty. $65, guys. Again, that would be a beautiful piece to take. Hey! <laughs> Hope everybody's having a good day out there. So, 300 bucks for this one. And it comes with a mirror. And I thought this was really pretty. I love the hardware on this. It actually looked fairly new. And then they have some little end tables and coffee tables, and this was just a little glass top table. Again, you could refinish it or get some uh, furniture touch-up uh, markers. So they had that one, and then they had this metal, kind of a more modern look for 20 bucks. 
and they had a little TV stand, 45. I wasn't sure about the price of that, but cute. And then they had this little, um, I don't know what you would call it, little um, slate top. It looks like a magazine rack, I guess. They had this little magazine rack slate top table. And then they've got uh, another bigger coffee table. This looked like a shaker style coffee table. So here's just some of the examples of what they've got. And this one was 69 with a glass top. And this was another buffet with a wine rack in it. 240 and it was Broy Hill furniture I think that had a lot of storage in it look at those drawers at the bottom oh I thought that was pretty I love that dark wood and look at this little table guys 40 bucks and it kind of looks like a little country like a little farmhouse design I thought that was pretty. Oh, and of course, you know I love an armoire or a high boy. And this one was actually fairly short. It did have some damage on the side, but they've got it priced 80 bucks. Oh, and I love, 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 loved this cabinet. Oh my goodness, look at this. $70, guys. Oh, I thought it was so pretty. I love the metal detail on it, and look at the mesh screen on the windows. Oh, I thought that was so, so pretty. And this thing was huge, $800, I don't know. I don't know, one, where would you put it? It's so big, but it's really pretty. I love that blonde wood. And this was the most expensive thing I found in there, guys. It was $1,000. It was huge. A big, I don't know if it's a china cabinet or a curio cabinet. Um, really, really pretty. It looked brand new. And then look at this. They had this right beside it. It's a china hutch. Absolutely gorgeous. That cherry wood. And look at this, guys. Look. $130 for that huge cabinet. Oh, can you believe it? I thought that was so pretty and it looks like it has lights on the inside of it. I love that. And then they just had a little shorter buffet, 55 bucks. Again, this would be something that's scratched up. You could take it, repaint it, refinish it, make it fancy. I've actually seen people who cut holes in the top and make it into a vanity for the bathroom, for the bathroom sink. And then just here's another armoire. I love the inlaid wood, 150 bucks. So it looked more like a entertainment center for TV. Oh, and I love this. Again, it was a huge piece of furniture though, guys. 500 so they did have a few pricey items but look at this bed guys oh this is so pretty a full queen no rails $25 guys oh I loved it it looks like it's maybe pine wood again you could faux finish that and look they had a piano so if you have someone new to learning the piano 225 guys for a little piano I thought that was really cute and then look at this. I found some needlepoint chairs, $15. They had these in blue at my Habitat Restore. So that must be a thing, guys. <laughs> I thought it was really cute. And then they did have some lighting. They had this really pretty chandelier, 50 bucks. And again, they test all of their lighting before they sell it to make sure it works. So that's a good idea instead of going to the big box store maybe stop at your habitat restore and see what they've got first and look at this guy 60 bucks and it's a fireplace unit look at that how pretty i love it 
And then just randomly, they had these knives. I'm not sure what you do with these, but they had two of those for 10 bucks and they had a ton of those. And look at this. So someone had donated all of these knobs and they had every one of these knobs for a dollar, two dollars. I mean, look at that. If you guys are redoing some furniture and it really does make a difference if you just put different knobs on your furniture, it really freshens it up. So check out your uh, Habitat Restore for those. And look, you could buy filing cabinets, 20 bucks a cabinet. And they had tons of those guys. And this is the Habitat Restore in Watauga County, Boone, North Carolina. And look, they've got rugs. They had a, this huge Oriental rug for $125. I thought that was so pretty. And look, they've got little entryway rugs, $15 each. And we'll just go through these. So I love that one with the lavender. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> and welcome. The little rainbow. And look at that one. It's kind of a beach themed with the crab. And of course, I love flowers. And look at this, guys. This looked like a little tabletop canister set, 20 bucks. I think my grandmother had one of those. And I really thought this vase was pretty. And it was really heavy, guys, for $2. And of course, they have tons of CDs, DVDs, VHS, cassettes even. Um, and guys, they um, even had the Oh, uh, what were they called? The 8-track tapes. Do y'all remember the 8-track tapes? Who out there has an 8-track tape player? <laughs> uh, if you do, I know where you can get some 8-track tapes. Um, look at that, guys. They got Liberace, Bean Crosby, and let's see. 120 music masterpieces. I remember those things. And then they have tons and tons of books here, so they're either going to be a dollar or less. And they've got it organized into different sections, so it should be easy to find. And they have tons and tons of cookbooks. So just tons of books here, guys. And they actually had some free books for kids. If they were there shopping with their parents, they could take a book or two. And look at this. This is just a game table, a checkers table. And this will be pretty on the wall. 30 bucks, guys, if you're doing like a farmhouse type uh, display or in a game room, that would be beautiful hanging on a wall. And they have tons and tons of glassware. So I thought this was a pretty little vase for $5. And I'm not sure what these were, but I would use them as coasters. Two bucks. And a little chicken plate, a dollar. I thought that was cute. And look at these guys. These are actually made in England. Let me see if I can get this turned around. There you go. Lorraine, England, Denby. So look at that. And I thought these glasses were fancy with the silver rims, a dollar a glass. And I love these. And let me see, they had some more down here. I thought these were fancy. Look at those, I love that. So guys, definitely check out your Habitat Restore for glassware. dollar a stem. Oh, and I love this little picture again. That would be a beautiful container for flowers. And I thought this was pretty. Let's see. Three bucks. And look at the little picture frames. A dollar a frame. And guys, these were beautiful. I'm not sure how much they were. I couldn't get up high to see the price, but I thought these were really fancy. That'd be beautiful in a tin. And I wanted to show you these. If you don't like what's in the frame, you could just look it up for the frame. Um, $3, guys. It's got the frame and the mat. And look at this picture. This might be a masterpiece that I passed up, guys. Y'all have to let me know. <laughs> and of course, they've got mugs and just little 
containers, little jars. Oh, and I love this platter. Look at this serving platter. $3, guys. That'd be so pretty for Easter. And look at this sweet little teacup, a dollar. I made a little teacup candle. Uh, you'll have to check that video out, but I went to a local store and just got a little teacup. And um, again, you'll have to look at my video. And there's some Pier 1 plates with the gold rims. And it says hand painted for Pier 1. And a little metal serving basket, a little bread basket for a dollar. And of course, you guys know I love to look at China. On a sweet little plate. Oh, and there's mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> and guys, look at all these jars. They've got these mason jars, and I love the design. And I actually took you to a place called the Weathered Home. You'll have to check that video out. But they had painted mason jars and made the most beautiful faces out of them. So this would be perfect if you want to try that. It's like a dollar a jar, 25 cents for some. I thought these were so pretty. So guys, thank you so much for coming with me today to the Wataka County Habitat Restore. Here's their hours of operation and their phone number. I hope you guys found some things that you liked and I hope you'll check out your Habitat Restore. So um, as always, you're loved, you're appreciated and you are enough. So until next time, come go with me today.